welcome hello guys well today my name is Drugo and today I'm gonna teach you about my in the second it's my second tutorial and today I'm gonna teach you the difference between frames and the keyframes in flash and the difference of flash and key uh, sorry the difference of frames and keyframes in other softwares so when yesterday I had just uh, teach the page basic of the uh, the basic of flashes flash so today I will be covering the timeline and the frames and the keyframes and blank keyframes and okay let's start let me take something uh, I will be taking one circle okay and I don't need my strokes so I will switch off my strokes and I will take the circle color to be like uh, blue one okay the blue one here so pressing the shift key gives us the proportional circle so I have just picked one and I will just change this to I'll just change my <coughs> circle to a symbol like a movie clip so circle I will name it as ball okay I will name it as ball because I will be making something a ball so ball and C and my registration points need to be in the middle so I will select the registration point in middle and I will click OK so now I have got my ball and I have got a ball MC inside of my scene. So what basically happened? So this one is my ball and this one is my keyframe. And if I duplicate my ball like here, but the now the same keyframe has two different balls. One here and the Whenever I click on the keyframe, it selects both of them. So now I need only one keyframe, one ball at one keyframe. So I will just delete, sorry, so I will just delete one of them. And this one is my first ball. And I need another ball, take around in the 15 frame. So I will directly create. I can directly create inserted keyframe but when it ha what it does when I insert type insert keyframe it has just taken the ball you can see here 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 can you see when I have typed direct insert keyframe directly it has taken the keyframe the first keyframe to the last keyframe but I don't need any keyframe in my 15th frame. So for that purpose, I need to select insert blank keyframe. So whenever I select blank keyframe, I don't I get nothing because it's blank. So blank keyframe has nothing. It has it doesn't contain anything. So now I'll be going to the basics of frames and keyframes. So here you can see the inside from 1 to 14 we have frames you can see it this one is the blank keyframe and this one is the filled keyframe means the keyframe but the insides are frames you can see here. this these are frames okay now this one is my blank keyframe and if I want to fill it then I can just click insert keyframe you can see insert keyframe but what it does after using the blank keyframe if I start clicking insert keyframe insert keyframe it generates blank keyframe itself so I don't need blank keyframe so I will just remove all the frames and keyframe remove frames then I can go to the initial one and second one I need 
another keyframe but little bit distant let me try it up to here okay the first one here and 41 here so what happens i have two keyframes right here is one and here is one i will select onion skin here because i need the onion skin for the time being to make you understand so what happens here the ball the first ball and the last ball it has total 40 frames in between but what if i want to change my first ball the direction of my first ball to the second ball if it if the ball won't go parallelly or won't go straight then if i want to throw the ball like this if i want to throw the ball in an arc so what can i do i cannot use just frames here i cannot use insert frame and the difference now now i am going to tell you the difference between frames and keyframes is that frames are those which by collaborating which we used to make something like in between in let me show you okay this one is my first keyframe and this one is my last keyframe so whatever comes in between these two keyframe is called frames okay these are frames and what if i draw here let me show you insert keyframe and i just grab the ball here okay now i have got three keyframes like this okay so what it does it has added another keyframe here this one but in generally if i used to go like in 3d animation then we can directly call it as in between normally but in flesh we have to say it like a keyframe okay but there is more keyframe there we can combine more keyframe like let me show you one jumping ball just a small simple one okay i have just created here create classic twin and i have just created here classic twin now you can see let me show you now after playing this you can see how the ball is moving right so here the ball has nothing to do with our means natural things like the ball never goes in a triangular in a triangular way so we definitely need to do something which keeps the ball to move in a circular arc or circular means in an arc so to give an arc we again use insert keyframe and we used to manipulate this like this you can see here okay again in between here we used to use another keyframe and we manipulate it but still we can see here there is a problem right but what happened here this one is the keyframe 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 and this one is the keyframe and if i add some more keyframes here like this one and if i add one more keyframe here like this one and if I add one more keyframe here, like this one, if I add one more keyframe here, like this one, what it does now? Let's see. It is giving us an arc, but not fluent arc. Means it's a jagged arc, right? Because it has triangular shape here, right? Here, 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 here. Sorry. Okay, it has a triangular. Let me show you. You can see. It's like this. It's like this. Okay. 
so we need it to be arc right we need to be arc in a circular way not like in a jacket way but you can see here flesh what has done we definitely need to have key key friends in in our friends we definitely need key friends but flesh is flesh means in flesh we use too many key friends to make something fluent so here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 to make an arc we have used nine key friends which is not actually totally an arc okay but it's a jagged arc but we can just check the part yeah it's going circles in an arc okay okay i have done and control enter for the playback which you can just go right uh, yeah control and play in the in the uh, means in the screen and again you can go just test movie oh sorry test scene so like this here you can just click control here it's showing control alt enter just you can just play control enter it also play the same so next let me come so what happened here we have got nothing here means in we have just learned that the first and the last key frame last frames of an short time is called in key frame means we we use that term in our means theory classes like that but what we have seen here that in the flash that first then the middle the in between key frame and again in the between of that keyframe and again between of that keyframe there there are lots of keyframes here right so now the pro pro now the problem it's not a problem actually we cannot means learn keyframes directly through flash but flash uh, yeah if we means uh, if we first of all if we learn flash and if the definition comes we cannot write actually the flash, the definition of keyframes by using only flashes. We we used to go for 3D 3D power 3D software and there they use that type of keyframes and in betweens are there. So here also we can use like in between, but we cannot call them as in between because there is no option of calling them an in between. So we cannot means create extra in between in here but in the 3d software we can just create in between like you can just add anchor points like that type of thing in maya or max animation so now i have just told you the basics of frames and the keyframes frames are just to complete a full from first to last keyframe a com complete animation the complete frames use from first keyframe to the last keyframe if we remove frames like if we if we remove the keyframe so okay clear keyframe so if we just clear keyframe hit clear keyframe we will get nothing sorry i just cut it so clear keyframe okay clear keyframe you can just select multiple at the time okay clear keyframe so here you can see this one there is a complicated theory in flash about keyframe so we can't and possibly write the difference of uh, means the frames and the keyframes using the adobe flash so just go with some theory, theoretical basics then you can know you you will get to know about the frames and keyframes okay so right now that is enough for frames and keyframes now today itself i will complete another tutorial for you okay bye bye